is known as the home of cricket and we are here at the heart of it all. My name is Danish Seth, this is Centre Stage on Crick Buzz and today we are here to visit a very special place, the Bat and Ball Inn, Broad Half Penny Down. This is the Cradle of Cricket. Tracy, thank you very much for having a chat with us. To begin with, tell us a little bit about Bat and Ball. Well, the Bat and Ball pub um, initially was called the Hut, and this is where the rules of cricket all came together. So even though people have been playing cricket for a long, long time around the world, it was actually here in the 1770s that Richard Nyron, who was a, a fabulous cricket player, started bringing cricket together and formed the cricket team. Just to kind of understand, so a game of cricket would happen here and then people would walk across the road to this place called the hut. Yes. Um, and the hut is also iconic in its own right. Tell us about that a little bit. Yes, well, uh, the landlord, Richard Nyron, yeah. was also an exceptionally good cricketer. Okay. So he organised the games, realising that there was an opportunity to make money. Yeah. Uh, and then the gentry came and formed the Hambledon Club. Yeah. And between Richard Nyron and the Hambledon Club, we got up to a sort of first class standard, albeit yeah. 250 years ago, yeah. Yeah. Um, with, with a view to establishing laws which then were adopted throughout the country and some of them are still ones that we recognise in the modern day. At the hut, um, cricket became established yeah. and some of the rules from cricket were established here. In fact, three major rules were written up here and they were kept just over there. Okay. And um, after the rules were written here, yeah. it then went on to go to Lords. I'm very curious to know what the three rules were. Well, firstly, um, one of the rules was instead of bowling across the ground, yeah. it then went over arm. And what is really interesting about this is one of the cricketer's sisters decided that she would like to have a game. Okay. And because her dress was so big, yeah. she couldn't do it the way the guys did. Yeah. So she put it over. And therefore, they all decided what a great way to bowl. The second rule was that before you could bring a bat of any size yeah. and then they realised that really wasn't fair. One day uh, a player turned up with a bat which was as wide as the wicket. Now wouldn't <laughs> we all like to have a bat that was as of wide course, as the yeah. wicket? Yeah. Yeah, I certainly would. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, the standard for the width of the bat was created there and then and that still stands today. And what's the third one? The third one is that the ball used to go through the wickets, yeah. so they decided to put the th uh, through the stumps, and so they decided to put the third one in to make it a little bit more complicated. Thomas Lord was a local here, yeah. and he saw the value of meeting with his friends and, and having great games of cricket. Yeah. He also had a place in London, so he looked around London for a, a, a ground that he could establish there. And of course, he found one initially near Baker Street and then St John's Wood, yeah. where he established Lord's Cricket Ground. Uh, and uh, from that day forward, Hambledon was no longer the centre of the universe. So what is it now? Is it a museum? Is it a restaurant? I would describe it as the perfect location because the Bat and Ball pub is in the heart of the countryside, of Hampshire countryside. And just across there yeah. is Broad Half Penny Down, yeah. where we play cricket today right. and where cricket started. Right. The beautiful thing about it is that we um, want everybody from around the world to come and enjoy the food here. But especially play cricket over there. Right. We're inviting people to come, have your wedding reception here, have your party here, have your yeah. celebrations here. Yeah. But also for those who really have a deep love of cricket, yeah. we've now arranged for people to be able to have their ashes spread here in three special locations on the grounds across there. I've had an incredible time at this historic venue. Cricket has travelled to so many places and produced so many greats over the years. But who'd imagine that this big fire was ignited right here? Mm -hmm.